This video is about redshift um, and how it occurs and what it gives evidence for. So it's all due to something called the Doppler effect and this happens in both sound and light. So we're going to use the example of sound to start off with because it's something that we're more familiar with in our everyday lives. So if we imagine um, a vehicle with a siren on it um, that's giving out sound and it's going to give out sound in every direction and if it's stationary then uh, the wavelengths are going to be in exactly the same no matter which direction they're in. However, if we now consider a moving vehicle, and this one's moving to the right-hand side of the page, something interesting happens to the waves. In the direction that they're moving in, the waves will bunch up on each other, and in the direction they're moving away from, the waves will stretch out. So what you hear will depend on where you're stood in relation to the vehicle. If you're stood with it moving towards you, the waves will be bunched up and you'll hear a higher pitch. If you are stood with the vehicle moving away from you, the waves will be stretched out and you'll hear a lower pitch. So now if we think about how this applies to light, um, we can see how this relates to redshift. So if we consider a light source that's moving, and this time to the right of the diagram again, then we've got the waves bunching up on one side and stretching out on the other. So to think about how this affects our perception of the light, uh, we need to think back to the colour spectrum and good old Roy G. Biv. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Remember that red has the longest wavelength and violet has the shortest. So if a light source is moving away from you, the light is shifted to the red end of the spectrum. And if it's moving towards you, it is shifted to the blue end of the spectrum. Most importantly, you need to know what this gives us evidence for. And that is the all important Big Bang Theory. You see, no matter which direction we look in space, all galaxies are redshifted. And actually, the further away a galaxy is, the more redshifted it is, which shows that it's receding or moving away from us at a faster rate. This shows us that it's not that everything's moving away from us, it's that everything is moving away from everything else. And this is one of the most important ideas that you need to know about that gives us evidence for an expanding universe that all began with a Big Bang.